Hi everybody. Uh, today I am going to talk about Nanite. This is the technology used in Unreal Engine 5. So, what is Nanite? Nanite is a optimization tool. You can optimize your high resolution model into very low resolution. In game development, uh, uh, level optimization is a very big issue. Yeah, otherwise, if you can't optimize your level, you can run it on your device. It will lag. So, Nanite is uh, only used in Unreal Engine. It uses uh, high resolution model as a cluster, no backend. You can convert million, billion, trillion of polygon and you can use it uh, very easily in your game. Now, if you go to this uh, page, Nanite Visualization Geometry and Unreal Engine, you will you can see detail about it. Nanite, uh, Nanite is Unreal Engine Visualization Geometry System, which uses a new internal mesh format and render it uh, to pixel detail. So you can uh, see the mesh in detail, but it will count very low res as a, as a, it will count as a low res. You can see uh, you see whatever uh, you visualize. Uh, other other uh, geometry will not count. So this is the benefit of uh, Nanite. You, you can see high res polygon detail rather than baking detail into normal map. You don't need any normal map. You don't need any baking. You just make your model in ZBrush or any other 3D software and uh, uh, import it in here. It doesn't matter how big size it is. So what type mesh we can use? Uh, only uh, static mesh or instance triangle which mesh, uh, mesh have triangle. Uh, uh, we can enable a nanite mesh in Unreal Engine when we import or uh, we can also convert the static mesh into nanite by right clicking and nanite enable you can see here uh, static mesh in instant static mesh hierarchy geometry collection all can be nanite but uh, deformation is not support it's really uh, skeletal animation morph word position offset spine uh, this is not supported by nanite but they are working uh, they will improve the uh, feature i believe now the, uh, you can see it in detail in, uh, in this page uh, what is nanite you don't need any loads you don't, don't uh, need to create any loads uh, now you, you can see that uh, nanite have every detail uh, you don't need a low poly or something like that you can convert it as a detail now you can see nanite uh, uh, render and in a cluster mode and now you can see one door is uh, detail and one door is nanite enable uh, this is uh, this is uh, how it look like so you can see the door difference one is smooth no nanite another is nanite enable so there is a size difference also if you use high resolution mesh it will uh, cover very big size if you use nanite it will very less size now 1.5 million only count 19 MB but uh, you, you can see the detail here the high poly static mesh and low poly static mesh you can see the different but in nanite uh, there is a very less difference uh, but uh, there is a very very uh, big uh, low, low res while nanite uh, make it 19 MB uh, the high poly static mesh is uh, uh, 147 MB but there is less less quality chance now we can see uh, compress size so there is uh, there is a lot of uh, detail about it in here you can see it if you go to the website please read it i suggest you to read it you can uh, know a lot of a uh, lot of, uh, about it now i will import nanite and convert nanite in my project uh, first of all you need to uh, enable your direct uh, s12 it is uh, default enable in Unreal Engine 5. Please use uh, high, uh, high space uh, PC. So I will uh, import a static mesh because static mesh supported by Nanite. So if I import it, uh, if I teeth uh, enable Nanite, it will uh, uh, import it as a Nanite. It will import it as a nanite. Now you can see it's preparing the shaders. Now it is a nanite mesh, no doubt. But we can also convert our current mesh, uh, static mesh, into nanite. I uh, just duplicate it two times. So one type is right button and, and a nanite enable. 
another is go to the mesh and tick the enable nanite support and apply changes so it will make the mesh nanite so let's see uh, drag and drop our static mesh versus our nanite and let's see the difference so this is the static mesh and this is the nanite I make it uh, sizable yeah now go to light nanite visualization overview now you can see every uh, type of uh, nanite triangles cluster instance uh, primitives mask overview material id material complexity everything so if i go to the mask one is a nanite enabled another is not nanite enabled it's it's in detail if we go to the triangles we can see triangles in nanite but no triangles in our uh, static mesh if we go to the cluster if we go up there is less cluster if we are closer there is more cluster so this is uh, all about nanite it will uh, give you high resolution if you are close if you go further it will not count so this is how you can optimize your level uh, thanks for watching see you in next tutorial